and social dancers, Miss Laura. Hello, everybody. And myself, we're going to show you what was taught tonight. Thank you for coming. If you did, please use what we're doing if you uh, enjoy it. That's why we record it. Move called Topaz. Won't tell you why it's called Topaz. It's got a long story, but it's how I remember with the name. It is off of a whip. So we're just going to do your standard whip here. We're not going to break down a whip pattern, but it is a standard turn here. She pivots off a whip. We then took this into the next step where she now does an outside turn at the end. One, two, three, and four. Raise, five, six. Just an outside turn, okay? That is really the essential part of what the fancy move Topaz comes into. So we're going to get to four. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to change my grip where I'm going to actually turn my palm to get myself ready to do the next sequence. So we're going to go this way. One, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to make her turn on five, six, five, six. I'm on my left. She's on her right. Okay, but I'm now more right behind her on the slot, okay? Whereas opposed to where a regular whip is, I'm going to get off the track. So we're going to go front to back. Two, three, and four, five, six. So I'm right, right behind her, okay? She may feel that, but she doesn't necessarily have, you don't have to be so close where she feels claustrophobic. So then we're going to get to, that's five, six. We're going to get to seven and. And this is where the technical, the hardest part is. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and. Now on the and count, I'm on my left foot. She's on her right foot. Now that was hard to see because of the way we were in the camera. We're going to go this way. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and. So I've gone to the other side of the track. I'm on now the right rail. I've got my left arm. And now this is dependent on you guys and your leader and your follower. You can either have forearm grip, forearm connection, or elbow inside of yours, okay? Somehow you have to connect and cushion her to hit the and count on that beat. We're going to go to and. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and. And we're leaning. So now we're going to come, I'm going to bring her forward onto her left foot on eight, which is my right foot on eight. That starts a triple step for triple step, triple step. So you're absorbing her energy on and, bringing her forward on eight. That's the key. There it is again. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten. Guys, just get back onto the track while she's doing her triples. So we're going to go this way. So she is part again. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Triple, triple. Now we'll go this way for the camera. And let's go this way. So I want you to see the connection with the arm here. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and. So you can see, lean into her, make a good 90 degree angle for her, and then she comes forward on eight, and she triples. So we're going to go one more time, a little bit quicker this way. Topaz and we're out of here. Sugar. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Nine and ten. Triple. Hardest part is that connection with the elbow. Once you get it, it's cool. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. She's wonderful. Oh. Love seeing her on Sundays. Thank you as always for watching. It's been a long time. Yes. We will see you next time. Until then, have a great week. Keep dancing. Good night.